I have taught my child to be proud of his Palestinian identity and to express himself freely just like every other Canadian child. But now, due to biased TDSB communications sent to all families and the chilling effect of anti-Palestinian racism in the TDSB, I am afraid that my child will not be comfortable saying that he is Palestinian. Our children have been watching in horror as Israel has killed over 6,500 Palestinians, including 2,700 children who look just like them. Our children are trying to understand why bombs have been dropped on schools and hospitals, killing civilians who look just like them. Our children are worried about the total siege of Gaza, in which Israel has intentionally denied water, food, and medical supplies to Palestinian children who look just like them. Our children are bewildered by the world's silence and indifference in the face of these horrors. Our demands of the TDSB leaders are simple. Include anti-Palestinian racism in your equity policy. Include Palestinian voices in your educational resources. Publicly affirm that TDSB students and staff will not be reprimanding for, rep reprimanded for supporting Palestinian human rights, like all other human rights. End partnerships with organizations that actively perpetrate anti-Palestinian racism and hate. And apologize to us. We deserve an apology. Apologize to us for the harm caused to Palestinian families by completely ignoring the suffering and grief they have endured as a result of the killing of their loved ones. As I stand here speaking to you today, Palestinian students are sitting at TDSB desks and grieving the loss of family members. They're trying to learn math while worrying about loved ones they haven't heard from in days. When we send our children to school, we are trusting the TDSB to care for them. And we feel that the board has let us down. They have let our children down. Our children deserve better, and we demand better. For many years, the TDSB has censored and reprimanded individuals that have supported Palestinian human rights within the institution. They have, attempt, they have attempted to silence voices who dare suggest that human rights for all includes human rights for Palestinians. This includes the voice of prominent journalist and author Desmond Cole, who the TDSB angrily tried to silence during a training session he delivered, that he was invited to deliver about systemic racism when he dared mention Palestine. In two separate communications from the director of education and the chair of the TDSB, the TDSB unequivocally and rightfully condemned the October 7th killing of Israeli civilians and clearly named the perpetrators of these attacks. What they, they did not do was unequivocally, unequivocally condemn the killing of Palestinian civilians and name the perpetrators of those attacks. The TDSB's erasure of the loss of Palestinian lives left many of us wondering why the TDSB administration seemingly values some lives over others. If they're completely erasing Palestinians, the loss of Palestinian lives, how can teachers feel comfortable speaking about Palestinian human rights in their classrooms? How can our children feel safe reporting the many incidents of racism that they are experiencing? How? People are afraid to speak up, including teachers who are teaching our kids. Our children are grieving, and they're completely being ignored. This is a time of profound trauma for all of our families. We are grieving the Israeli civilians killed by Hamas. Some of us have family members who were kidnapped and are still missing. And at the same time, we are grieving the Palestinian civilians killed by Israeli airstrikes, snipers, blockades on food, water, medicine and fuel, settler attacks and more. Under the banner of security, Israel is pursuing a strategy of genocide. As Jews, we are devastated by Israel's actions, 
not only because we care about Palestinians as human beings, but also because our, quote, safety is being used to justify indiscriminate violence. This same warped argument has fueled 75 years of Nakba, occupation, and apartheid. To all of the above, we say not in our name.